Where were we? All right, Grasp Fiora. This is normal. Vel and Lucian. Well, this can be a good combination. Early game plus late game. I have seen Vel causes carry games from the support roll before. And yes, it will be a bloody lane. Bloody line. Sorry, I didn't I didn't read what you wrote correctly. Apologies. Oh warm. You know, it's the weirdest thing. During the summer, you hate the heat. During the winter, oh. Okay, rune page saved in time. Good. Ah, motherfucker. All right, you want to come help? We could fuck her up. You coming? quite enough to go for a kill, but that does fuck up her start. Oh. Did she at least get a flash out of her? Damn. No, that was cute. I wasn't watching. I figured we should just stop. I got the advantage I needed. I'm now going to be able to set up the wave to push against me. And the Fiora might miss some farm because of that. At least if she doesn't TP, she will miss farm. And she's not TPing. Oh, this is great. This is a fantastic start. She's now behind in XP and CS. You'll play Blitz. Ew. Cool. Like I said, this is great. The wave's pushing against me. I'm farming better than her. Good start. I think this is the one point in the game where I can actually fight her. Every minute that goes by, she gets stronger to the point where I can't deal with her anymore. At least not in a one-on-one -on -one capacity. Which is pretty much the only capacity that matters when you're, you know, solo laning. What is the range? It almost feels like she has longer range than I do. Got you. Uh, Vi wasn't coming. Damn it, I thought Vi was... Oh, God. I thought Vi was coming. Turns out she was just doing the... Uh, uh, what's it called? That stupid crab. Oh, that really sucks. She came out completely ahead there. I do have an XP lead, though, which is always nice. There it goes. And our bot lane's losing. Lovely. Akaiza got the first blood against Illusion. It's like seeing a vein kicking Illusion's ass. It just shouldn't happen. It's actually like seeing any AD carry kicking Illusion's ass. It literally should never happen. 
Now I have to play defensive. At least she is pushing. I'm running out of mana. Hmm. I'll save my Q for this cannon. Like so. I can't walk up right now. Ah, oh, great. And now the, now the weak spot's on, in the worst position it could be. Oh, not worse, but it's bad. And unfortunately, now it's slow pushing away from me. I just don't have the mana to farm at range. Completely out. When she does that, though, it gives me an opportunity to walk up and farm. Is this gonna hurt? Nope. It is not gonna hurt. Let's just back and use my TP. I'm out of mana anyways. There's not too much I can do here. Report for racism? I don't understand how that is racist. Damn, she has a huge lead now. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. It's just a really difficult lane for Urgot, because she has got greater reach than Urgot. And greater damage. Far greater damage. Far greater damage. I mean, she doesn't have any items, and she casually won that trade. This was while my shield was running, and she doesn't have a shield. It's also right, I, um, I'm also rocking armor and she's still winning these trades. Got you. I tricked you. Which means you die. I tricked you! I missed my E intentionally. Oh, you got foolied, Outlander, and then she burned her flash. Panicking. Oh, my God, what an outplay. What an outplay. Intentionally missed my E to get the repost. <laughs> and then she flashed, so my ult casually landed. Awesome. Take that. Take it. Take that and smoke it. Um... Oh, that felt good. OTP Fuhrer and has 500 plus games. Good. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. She's going to always be uh, questioning herself in the future. Is that he aimed at me or not? <laughs> oh, fantastic. Just fantastic. I think that's the first time I've done that, too. It's gotten a kill by intentionally missing my E. Unfortunately, I'm still far behind in farm, but a kill does give me a hell of an advantage. See, that's what you get for not backing. Good luck, mid lane. Mid lane has failed. Dang. And the nice part is she has to push. Which is really nice. Taking. That time she actually. 
So, she is not second-guessing herself. I guess I need to miss more. Is she dead anyways? Yes, she is. Good. I altered the right target. She started that and absorbed all those tower shots. Cool. Did she get the kill? She did. But that's fine. It does suck. The, the I think the bigger loss for me is losing these minions. Because I managed to kill her while two of them were there diving me under the tower. That's good. It's a very positive sign. And through her BS ultimate, I might add. Oh, if a Nexus Blitz is dumb. Interesting. I don't know anything about Nexus Blitz, so I wouldn't know. So who's doing well on our team? I'm doing well. Vi's doing well. Our AD carry is absolutely not doing well. Blocked it in its entirety, and she lost life. Good. She's taking a lot of minion damage here. Yeah, she can't just try and fight me when there's a huge wave like this. I'm sorry, there's literally nothing you could do to stop me from killing that. Hmm. And my team just took a big hit in the mid side. Ugh. So much damage. Oh, there goes my pink ward. Lasted a very short amount of time. And the Soraka heal just went down. Annoying, but not problematic. Yep, I figured she would do that. She ended up losing a lot more life than she actually did to me or, or gained, so that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vi, for being nearby. Let's do some damage. We should be able to take multiple plates here. At least two. Uh, maybe not. That's really good. I'm surprised the Vi didn't repost. Um, eh. Let's undo that. Let's actually get this. Actually, never mind. We will get this. And boots and armor. All right, we picked our lead back up. We're back to two kills up. They see the patch notes for 8.24b. It was released one hour ago. No, I did not. I need to look at that. Can you post a link? I'm sure I can find it myself. That does make sense. Jesus. You know what? Fuck it. Ah, oh, the fucking Soraka heal. Even if my ult landed, it would not have been enough to get the kill. That's unfortunate. I did bait out a repost early, so I actually had an opportunity to kill her there. I had a very small window, because the Soraka ult came in, like, right after that window. I had maybe half a second to kill her. Wait. 
Yeah, she's back to full health. She must have teleported. Damn, she's got a BF sword. She's going for a... Uh, uh, oh god, what's that item called? Um, the one that gives you cooldown when you ult. That one. I have a slight level advantage now. I should just take advantage of it. Got you. Got you! Get baited! Oh, yeah. Baited her right. She didn't expect me to throw my E at that point, so she was not ready for it. We will take this tower now. Unfortunately, we have already lost our bot tower, but we will take this one at least. I think. I will take it. We're losing a lot. Uh, we're behind in kills now. Their Fiora is behind, but everyone else is doing pretty well on their team. Oh dear. Please get out. Please. She should be fine. She should be fine. Yeah, she's fine. That was a waste of an ultimate, to be honest. The guys had almost no chance to get that kill. And her ultimate isn't that short of cooldown. So many interesting changes. I'm very curious to see. Oh my god, Illusion is 2 and 6. Yeah, you kind of are inting, huh? Oh dear. I'm going to keep my teleport handy. Oh, he just massacred their team. And now we take turrets. Hey, Fiora, your team needs you. We should be able to take this tower, too. Wow, we just got a lot. The hell are you doing, Warwick? The hell are you? Oh, dear. Got him. Closer than it needed to be, but nice. Wow, we just fucking massacred their team in a big way. Oh, I should probably stay to help them take the inhibitor. All right, just glory is back up too. Okay, we got enough time. I got the kill. Zed, steal AD from someone that does AD. <laughs> the pike changes. Oh, are they nerfs, I presume? Let's be honest, pike needs one. He's now one of the most banned champions in the game, and that's usually an indication that there's something amiss with his kit. It's usually, an, I say usually because in Urgot's case it really wasn't. It was just an issue that the pros were playing. What's he doing? Oh, you got it. Woohoo! 
coming through. I'm not winning this, am I? No, we are not. Dang. That was a mistake. Hmm. Yeah, four people on their team came up for that. I don't really see how they can go for Baron. It would be a really stupid call. Wow, they're actually going for Baron. Wow, what a stupid call. Oh, dear. Uh, that was a terrible hold from the Lucian. Let's kill that stupid goddamn Soraka. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that was an incredibly dumb Baron call. Oh, and look at their base. I mean, their base is in tatters. They can't stay for this. They just cost themselves the Baron by doing that. Although their jungler is still nearby. Never mind then. Oh, she landed it. That's a kill. Nice, yeah, let's go for Dragon. Dragon's much safer than Baron. They almost cost themselves the Baron. I'm coming. I will help you. Our Ari's pretty strong now. That's great. Yeah, I agree it was right to back off. They had vision of us, their jungler was still alive. It's not worth doing a 50-50 on that. We just got a huge advantage taking their inhibitor and doing a lot of damage to their team. We just need to keep it up. We, we don't need to take any risks. Um, let's get... I really need to go for Cleaver now. My defensive stats are good enough. I don't need any more. No! She's too fucking fast. Definitely didn't need a ghost. The Vi had more than enough lockdown potential. I thought once my ult missed, it was the end of that. She gave up her life for a tower. That's actually not a bad trade for O. At the time, one in five Fjord. Not bad. Uh oh, what is going on? Lucian, what the fuck are you doing, man? I'm just gonna back and join my team in the mid this way. Nice. Oh my god, she's so low. Really would have been nice if I could have been there. Soraka mains are happy now. Fuck Soraka. God, I hate her. We need as much vision as we can get. Oh. Wow, if that Q had landed, somebody would have died. Hmm. Pushing this out because I can. She doesn't know where the team is, so she feels afraid. Oh, I need to get the hell out of here. Mm. 
Hey, Soraka. Oh my god, I missed. Oh, she didn't repaw. She's dead. Dead. She's dead. Yeah, let's get the inhibitor. I don't think we can end the game, but we need the inhibitor. The inhibitor down gives us more shit. Yeah, I agree. Baron's a good call now. We've got enough time, and their position is terrible. And they don't have vision either. Don't kill the ward. What did I just say? Let the ward live. Don't give him any inkling on what the fuck we're doing. Not that it should matter. But they should know and they should know they don't stand a chance. You got me. Now die. Oh my god. Um, what just happened? Guys? Guys? Um, what just happened? How did our team just die? <laughs> what the hell just happened? That was unlucky? What do you mean that was unlucky? I don't think you count, sir. The weakest person on our team. I do not think your damage counts. Damn, that sucks. Uh, oh my god. Well, we are... Funny, this is looking just like last game, where we have this massive advantage, things look like they're going well, and then the stupidity begins. The stupidity. League of Legends in a nutshell during Priest's... How did I get that? I'm actually genuinely curious. Can you guys please stop dying? Oh my... Why are you fighting away from the turret when we're down in numbers? They have Baron, then they just want to fight, acing us for five for nothing. Like, that could not have been any worse of a situation for us. And you guys are looking for a fight right after that? Holy. And we're getting split pushed down. Well, this is cool. I think we lost this game, actually. I can't do anything to stop this. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, the amount of healing she got on that. It really does baffle me that Riot put healing on her ultimate. It is truly one of the most baffling things they have ever done. Oh my god, that shield. Oh my god, that shield! Yeah, we lose. That was one, like, I, this is preseason in a fucking nutshell, it really is. Things are going great, we're winning, and now we're losing. Oh, and now everybody's making incredibly stupid decisions. Awesome. <laughs> it's another one of those games where literally all we needed to do was do the obvious thing and we win. And yet somehow the obvious thing is the least obvious thing in the world. I... And it's always my team that somehow misses out on this message. The enemy team, they see the obvious thing, they go for it, and they win with it. My team sees the obvious thing, 
pretends like it doesn't exist, proceeds to do the stupidest thing in the world, dies, wonders why we lost. How did we lose that? No fucking clue. I have genuinely no fucking clue how we lost that game. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's because of the Lucian. Um, but damn, man, we should not have lost that. Yeah, the 4-9 Lucian. That's very helpful. Yeah, our bot lane were the two weak links on our team. Our Ari also wasn't the greatest. Several times she went for these offensive plays that just completely backfired on her. I mean, it's a Zed you're up against. It's not exactly easy to hit him with skill shots. And she was going for him. I did see her successfully take him down once, but I also saw her unsuccessfully go for him like three times. And one of those times I died too, which made it all the worse. Yeah, that's the problem. It was just Vi and me. We were the only two people who were doing well. And the only person who sucked horribly was the Fiora. Though that was, again, in large part due to Vi's repeated interference.